Hey guys, it's Fishing ND here, and before I start the video, I would like to give a shout out to Catch and Cole. If you guys don't know who they are, they make jigs and now they make rods. They support our videos and our tournament fishing, and their link will be right here, and then there will be another link in the bio. Go check them out. They're good people, and they support us and our videos. But without further ado, let's get into the review. Today we've got the Luz SG300CR, and it is a 10 ball bearing, a 6.2 to 1 gear ratio reel that holds 175 yards of 8 pound test, and it is a really nice reel. It's got a multi-layer drag system carbon frame, aluminum bale, um, I feel like I'm missing something, no, I'm not, um, it's got anti-reverse on it, so, you know, you notice it's not going back, if you look at all the reels, sometimes you'll even be able to get them like a half a turn back, see if this one won't do it, I'm not going to show it unless it does, because, no, this one's pretty decent about it, too. Um, it's pretty much, like, it won't go backwards unless you flip it into the mode for it. It has nine forward ball bearings, one reverse. And it's got that ante like you just saw. Um, it is a really aesthetically pleasing reel if you look at it. But one of the things I wish they would have changed and did a little bit better is this. Um, it just looks really generic of a lot of reels. And could have been changed in my opinion to look better. I mean honestly it is a $50 reel so it's not like like a great reel by any means it's not tournament level even though i've fished with it in tournaments but it's not like bass level or bass masters or flw it's just an entry level reel that's really nice really aesthetically pleasing um however they did change the colors from this to where everything that's red on this reel would be green. Everything that is... Wait. Everything that's black would be green. And some of it would be black. Huh. For some reason I thought that was different. I'm dumb. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is a really nice reel. It's really cheap. It's $59.99. So, like, your paint... Sorry about that. Dropped it. You're paying for a really nice reel that I've caught a lot of fish with and have zero complaints about. Um, I mean, as I said, it's aesthetically pleasing. It's got a nice drag system, which I'll demonstrate in a second. It's a little bit more jerky than the Aura, but it's still got a really nice drag system. It's got the anti-reverse. It's really, really light. And I guess I'll demonstrate the drag system for you now. Now, this one, you'll see here, it's got just... Turn that down just a little bit so it's not pulling it so hard. Just a little bit more wet back, as you see. It's got just a little bit more, more movement back and forth from how the drag is set up. But otherwise, all around, great reel. Like I said, the only thing I would probably change other than maybe adding a little bit better drag system but like I said this is a $59 reel so 
you're getting a lot for your money already. And, you know, be happy with it because it is a really nice reel. Um, of course, if it, like, breaks your first day with something, don't be happy with it. I would probably send it back for its warranty. But, otherwise, you know, I guess this is the end of the video. This has been Fishing ND. And I will see you next time.